Hello and welcome. Since most of the international fans like this Chinese drama skate into love, but do not know Chinese and, they seem extremely restless to know, what happened in Skate Into Love episode 30. I've tried my best to help you, understand the things happened in episode 30 in simple words. Hope I'll not disappoint you. Today, we'll shortly talk about, Skate Into Love episode 30. This episode goes like this. In the evening, Li Yubing was smiling like crazy, looking at the gold medal, which Thang Su gave him, as a gift. Seeing Li Yubing laughing like crazy, Jian Guo looked at Li Yubing, and said that the people who kill roommates in this world, have a common feature, and when Li Yubing asked what commonality they have, he said that they both had no girlfriend. Li Yubing didn't care at all, and joked that he could kill him. While chatting with Jin Guo, Yi Luying said that he was like a superfluous person. In response, Jin Guo said that they are all superfluous. Then Jian Guo asked Yi Luying to meet each other in real life. Yi Luying was very excited, after seeing it, and immediately began to think about, how to make herself more beautiful. The next day, they decided to meet each other in the library for a date. Yi Luying and Jin Guo were all dressed up. The pair were extremely shocked when they looked up at each other and screamed in shock. Both were reluctant to admit that the other is the soulmate, they met online. Then, they parted ways with each other. After reaching the dorm, Yi Luying immediately blocked Jin Guo. Fortunately, Thang Su was included in the big list of the national team training, and everyone was happy for her. Wei Wei unknowingly dropped the red string on the ice rink. At the same time, Thang Su accidentally skated over, and the ice skater broke it into two segments. Everyone stared at Wei Wei, picking up the broken red rope, Thang Su said that she would compensate her. Wei Wei yelled, and asked her if she would pay for it with herself. Thang Su felt that Wei Wei had overreacted. Coach Xu said the red rope was Wei Wei's grandmother's relic. That is when, Thang Su realized the seriousness of the problem, and took the initiative to apologize to Wei Wei. Wei Wei said that relics more often represent a kind of thought. When she was a child, she was dependent on her grandmother, and her grandmother asked her to learn short track speed skating. Her biggest wish was that Wei Wei can become a national player, glory for the country. Bin Cheng called Thang Su's father, and said that his news was published in their newspaper. Bin Cheng asked Zhao Ran to help, but she refused and said that she did not believe there would be any problems between Thang Su and Li Yubing. So, Zhao Ran said that since Thang Su has already refused him so thoroughly, she would not give him another chance. As a friend, she advised Bin Chang to give up on Thang Su, and said that there are many good things in life other than Thang Su, but Bin Chang did not listen. On the other hand, Thang Su woke up all night, and repaired Wei Wei's red rope overnight. Early in the morning, Thang Su waited for Wei Wei in the gym, and gave her the red rope, and she also said that her grandma was also very good to her. Wei Wei was very satisfied and very moved with this act of Thang Su. They got even closer after this incident, so closer that she took Thang Su with her to the restaurant, where Wei Wei, Jiang Chijie and Li Yubing used to hang out. Wei Wei forgave Thang Su and the two met to continue pair training. Jiang Chijie was originally worried about Wei Wei, and the two were relieved when they saw Wei Wei sent a message asking them to eat together. At noon, Wei Wei and Thang Su came hand in hand. The two boys still felt incredible. Li Yubing discovered that Jiang Chijie had a frown on his face recently. When asked, he realized that he had submitted a lot of resumes for professional teams, but they did not respond at all. He really worried that his hockey career would be over. Li Yubing went to manager Ma and said that, only Jiang Chijie cooperated best with him. In his response, manager Ma said that, the entire team also has the potential to play professional ice hockey. In the future, he will meet new teammates, but Li Yubing insisted on not accepting it. Manager Ma had to compromise. When Li Yubing went out of manager Ma's office, he met with a little bit upset Liao Shenyu. Liao Shenyu wanted to apply for Xiaolong's medical volunteers. But they felt that Liao Zhenyu was a freshman so, they refused him. Li Yubing again went to manager Ma and had him accept Liao Zhenyu. Wei Wei knew that Jiang Chijie was worried about the professional ice hockey game. So, 
she comforted him as much as she could, and told him that, failure should not be defined by others, but he should see whether he exceeded himself. Meanwhile, Coach Shu came back from a business trip, and the team doctor checked Wei Wei again, and said that she had no problems at all. It turned out that Coach Chu went to the national team, to report on Wei Wei's training situation. Now Wei Wei can also participate in the national team's big training along with Feng Su, which everyone was grateful for. Manager Ma said that he will accompany Coach Chin to get the best coach award this year. Coach Chin smiled and did not speak, but he was worried about Yu Yan's condition. Bin Cheng went to interview Mr. Zen, and once again he mentioned the rival Li Yubing, deepening Mr. Zen's impression of Li Yubing. Someone came to Zen Zen, and Bin Cheng deliberately left the recording pen in Zen's office. He heard Mr. Zen's conspiracy from inside. At the cafeteria, some girls were making fun of Thang Su behind her back. When Zhao Ran saw this, she actively helped Thang Su which moved Thang Su. Li Yubing and Li Ao were to find Zhao Ran being friendly with Thang Su. Thang Su told Li Yubing that, his father was coming to visit him, and to prepare himself. Li Yubing was nervous because of the thought of facing Thang Su's father. This much for today. Hope, you enjoyed my take on this. Thanks for watching.